Good morning students very warm welcome all of you in our online class today we are going to study about the last part of chapter pronouns dear students through my previous video we have discussed about the pronouns up to number 7 means we have discussed about the seven kinds of pronoun today we will discuss about the last three kinds of pronoun first is in rest number 8 interrogative pronoun we have discussed and now it is used to ask a question means the wh word which is used to ask a question that is as a interrogative pronoun just like what who whom whose where which whose why etc means we have discussed that there are eight pronouns as a wh word what who whom whose where which and whose why i have repeated whose but one is more just like my one is more there are eight pronouns in wh word i have repeated whose and one is another just like why do you live in this if we have to identify pronoun relative pronoun then where is relate uh, interrogative pronoun and second why don't she go to school then why is interrogative pronoun in third sentence whose pen is this whose is an interrogative pronoun in fourth who are you who is as a as an interrogative pronoun thus dear children these at wh words are known as interrogative pronouns in hindi dear student aaj ki class mein hum bache hue pronouns ke bare mein discuss karenge number 7 tak humne pichli class mein discuss kiya hai aaj number 8 se apna aaj ki video ka aaj ki class ka first pronoun hai wo hai interrogative pronoun it is used to ask questions iska mukhyatya prayog prashn puchne ke liye kiya jata hai jaise sare wh word hai eight hai maine us repeat kar diya ek bacha hua hai wo kya hai wh word hai aur wo as a question puchne ke liye kaam aate hain to wo kaun se what hai whose hai whom hai what hai who hai whose hai whom have where have which have why have and when have dear students isko cut karke aap when likh lo i hope yahi bach gaya tha okay now now we all are up to date what who whom whose where which when why etc are wh words and they are used as an interrogative pronoun kaise Where do you live? अगर हमें इसमें सब interrogative pronoun identify करना है तो डब्ल्यू एच वर्ड मीन्स वाई आर सेकेंड में वाई वाई डोंट सी गो टू स्कूल इसमें से वाई इंटेरोगेटिव प्रोनाउन है हुज पैन इज दिस तो इस सेंटेंस में से हुज वर्ड है वो इंटेरोगेटिव प्रोनाउन है एंड फोर्थ हु आर यू तो इसमें हु इंटेरोगेटिव प्रोनाउन है आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड वेरी वेल Now we talk about ninth number pronoun, relative pronouns. It refers to a noun or pronoun. First of all, relative refers to a noun or pronoun mentioned previously, and they are also help to join sentences. Means, it refers the noun or pronoun which have mentioned previously. Means in the first sentence we have mentioned noun or pronoun, and we talk again. about the same noun noun pronoun in the same sentence then we will use the wh word as a relative pronoun means they won't use as a question asking question they they will use to show relation between two nouns to pronouns and clauses just like same wh words are used as a pronoun who which whom who's where when why what and that all are relative pronoun if they are used to show relation between two nouns and they are used to show noun or pronoun which mentioned previously just like i know the man who is your friend means 
in this sentence who is as an as a relative pronoun in this sentence i do i know the man who is your friend means i know the man the man is your friend so the noun which have been mentioned previously so to show relation we will use wh word who in second the man the woman whom police caught was selling balloons means the woman whom police caught means what we are talking about the woman in first part of sentence that was selling balloons again we are talking about the woman whom police caught and she was selling balloons so in this sentence whom is a relative pronoun and it has been used as a as a relative pronoun to show noun or pronoun which has been mentioned previously third the man whose car you used is my uncle whose has been used as a relative pronoun in this sentence the man whose car you used is my uncle means the man whose car you used is the same man is my uncle means the man whose car you used the same man is my uncle all that is all that glitters is not gold means that has been used to show the things which is comparable than gold means all that glitters the things which glitter not is sure that all are gold thus that who whose whom or etc are used to show relation between two nouns and used used to refer a noun or pronoun which mentioned previously we will call that word as a relative pronoun in hindi relative pronoun kise kaha gaya aise pronoun jo kisi noun aur pronoun ke bare mein batate hain jinka use sentence mein first time kiya ja chuka hai aur wo kya karte hain do sentence ko join karne mein as a conjunction nahi keh sakte but dono ko join karne mein kaam aata hai us word ko kya kehta hai relative pronoun jaise हम यूज कर सकते हैं हु विच होम हुज वार वैन वाई वॉट दैट एक्सेट्रा अगर इनका यूज किसी दो सेंटेंस को ज्वाइन करने में काम आता है ऐसे नाउन और प्रोनाउन को रेफर करने में काम आता है जिसका यूज प्रीवियसली मैंशन है मीन्स जिसका यूज हमने पहले कर लिया है तो ऐसे वर्ड को क्या कहते हैं रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन अपने लिए पहचान की सबसे बड़ी बात अगर डब्ल्यू एच वर्ड का यूज सेंटेंस के बीच में हुआ और लास्ट में क्वेश्चन मार्क नहीं है तो वो डब्ल्यू एच का रोल उस सेंटेंस में एज ए रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन है और ऐसे डब्ल्यू एच वर्ड का यूज जिसके सेंटेंस के फर्स्ट में हुआ सेंटेंस के लास्ट में क्वेश्चन मार्क है तो वो डब्ल्यू एच का रोल उस सेंटेंस में एज ए इंटेरोगेटिव प्रोनाउन है बात करते हैं रिलेटिव जस्ट आई नो द मैन हु इज योर फ्रेंड मैं उस व्यक्ति को जानता हूँ जो तुम्हारा दोस्त है मीन्स जिस व्यक्ति को मैं जानता हूँ और जो व्यक्ति तुम्हारा दोस्त है वो क्या है एक ही आदमी है मीन्स मैं उस व्यक्ति को जानता हूँ जो तुम्हारा मित्र है तो फर्स्ट टाइम मैन का यूज़ हुआ है अपने जानने के लिए सेकंड टाइम हम उसी का जिक्र कर रहे हैं कि वही व्यक्ति तुम्हारा दोस्त है तो ऐसी चीज़ों को शो करने के लिए रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन द हुमन हुम पुलिस कोर्ट वॉच सेलिंग बालोन्स यानी वह औरत जिसे पुलिस ने पकड़ा था वह औरत क्या बेच रही थी गुब्बारे बेच रही थी तो एक तो उस औरत का बताया गया पुलिस के पकड़ने से दूसरा बताया गया वही औरत क्या बेच रही थी गुब्बारे तो उसको ऐसी नाउन जो पहला रेफर हो चुके है उसको शो करने के लिए उसको बताने के लिए क्या यूज़ किया रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन एज ए हुम थर्ड द मैन हुज कार यू यूज इज माई अंकल वह व्यक्ति जिसकी कार तुमने काम में ली जिसकी कार तुमने यूज में ली वो व्यक्ति मेरे अंकल है पहले तो ऐसे व्यक्ति जिसकी कार तुमने काम में ली फिर वही व्यक्ति जो मेरा अंकल है तो रिलेशन शो करने के लिए हुस आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड ऑल दैट ग्लिटर्स इज नॉट गुड वे सभी चीज़ें जो चमकती है जो नहीं सोना हो यानी सब चमकने वाली चीज़ें सोना नहीं होती तो सब चमकने वाली चीज़ों का रिलेशन गोल से बताया कि भाई सोना नहीं है तो ये सब क्या यूज हुआ एज अ रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन अपना लास्ट है रेसी पर रेसी प्रोकल प्रोनाउन मीन्स रेसी प्रोकल प्रोनाउन आर यूज टू शो द टू एंड मोर पीपल आर डूइंग द सेम थिंग मीन्स 
if in a sentence two or more people are doing something in the sentence then they will be used by what reciprocal reciprocal pronoun there are only two reciprocal pronoun each other one another yes dear student we have to note that if we talk about the two person then we will use each other if we are talking about more than two person then we will use one another take care for two people each other more than two people one another mohit and shahil took care of each other means we are talking about mohit and shahil and they are doing the same thing means mohit take care of sahil and sahil also takes care of mohit we should help one another means we in this there are more than two person as a we just like we we are five person ten person more than ten person we should help one another means in this sentence there are more than people so we have used one another in the first sentence there are only two person mohit and sahil so we have used each other so these both are each other and one another are reciprocal pronouns reciprocal pronoun in hindi aise pronoun ya inka prayog us samay kiya jata hai jab hum do ya do se zyada logo ke bare mein baat karte hain jab wo ek hi kaam karte hain ya ek hi cheez show karte hain inke liye each other dusra one another ईच अदर का प्रयोग केवल दो व्यक्तियों के लिए या दो किसी एक्शन के लिए बताए वन ऑन अदर दो से ज़्यादा मोहित और शाहिल टू केयर ऑफ ईच अदर मोहित और साहिल एक दूसरे का ध्यान रखते हैं यानी जब मोहित साहिल का ध्यान रखता है साहिल मोहित का ध्यान रखता है एक दूसरे का परस्पर ध्यान रखते हैं वी शुड हेल्प वन ऑन अदर हमें एक दूसरे की मदद करनी चाहिए मतलब हम दस से बीस से पचास से सौ हमें एक दूसरे की मदद करनी चाहिए जैसे मैं सामने वाले की मदद करूँ तो सामने वाले सभी जरूरत पड़े तो मेरी मदद करें तो इसे क्या कहता है रेसी प्रौ, रेसी प्रौकल प्रौनाँ। Dear students, we have discussed about these ten kinds of pronoun in this video and through these these three three videos we have discussed about these ten pronouns i hope you have understood very well about these pronouns dear students after this video i will provide exercise related to this chapter and i hope you have understood very well thank you thank you very much